Hello everyone, Namaste and welcome to Yoga for a Break, short videos, short exercises that are aimed at supporting us in taking a break, taking a breath from whatever is going on in the world, at building up the conscious embodiment, this feeling of conscious presence and living in the body and at moving some body parts. My name is Yulia and in the last few weeks we've been going on through the whole body from the head to the toes and today we are going to focus on our feet. So on the joints, on the feet joints and on the soils of the feet and I have prepared for myself a little tennis ball that we are going to use for a little neofascial release. You can also use something that you have at home. Let's begin today with spreading our toes very, very wide, feeling which part of the feet are starting to feel this kind of pressure, tension when we are lifting the toes and spreading them and then pressing these parts down and bringing the toes down. Look at your feet and notice how you are standing. If you are standing rather with the toes pointing to the outside or to the inside, notice your natural posture and how it is today and try to bring the feet, the middle lines of the feet parallel to one another. And we start with shifting the weight a little bit to the front, lifting the heels and then to the back. We need to stabilize the joints and we are doing that through coming out of our balance. If we never come out of the balance, how can we know how to get there, right? So to the front, and to the back and one more time and back and now from the left to the right so shift your weight from the inner side of the foot to the outer, outer side and also from the left foot and from the right foot feel this connection with the yoga mat with the floor where you are standing on and try to come up a little bit more out of balance and see how far you can go. Good. Now bring your feet somewhat hip width apart, maybe wider, and come from the like one foot comes on the outer side, the other on the inner side, and shift yourself here, massaging, stretching the outer parts of calves and shins. And now come on one foot and fully bring the other one to the outside. Feel this stretch. This is a kind of integration that we do in the yoga practice when we notice how exactly fit are connected to the knees, how the sensation in the feet goes then upper, higher in the hip. And bring this, the same foot, on the back of the foot. So not on the soil, but on the back. This is the, the sensation that we don't usually do. Only go as much as you enjoy it. Okay, and now on the toes. And now a few circular motions, movements. And to the other side. Uh, the foot. So first on the outer hand, outer side, play with your weight play and see where you are shifting it and how it reflects in the body. So if you are com coming a little bit forward, how does that feel? If you are coming a little bit back to the back, how does that feel? 
Mm -hmm. This is the kind of movement that we don't usually do, so they can be pretty intense. In now on the back of the foot. Again, gentle movements here. Oh, really nice. And on the toes. And circular motions. To the other side. And let's take the tennis ball. So bring it to the floor, to the yoga mat, and then bring your foot on the ball with your toes on the ball and start just shifting it, coming pretty deep, but not reaching the pain. Of course, on the foot from the heel to the front. This kind of movements when we use some props like the balls, like uh, tennis ball, myofascial ball, um, are allowing us to uh, let go of the tensions that gather in the fascia, this kind of um, muscle that surrounds all the muscles, and if we wear tight shoes. If we spend a lot of time standing, we can usually feel in the evening that feet are very tired. And through this kind of movements, we can release this tension. And now, circular motion. So from the heel on the inner side of the foot to the toes, and on the outer side to the foot. So draw circles, try to press also with your foot down. Keep the balance and keep the ball under your foot. But if it's sliding, that's okay too, of course. And change the direction. Moreover, there are really lots of um, points on the feet that reflect our inner organs or some other parts of the body. So through this kind of massage, we are also stimulating the inner organs, the head, the arms, basically everything is reflected in our feet. Now, bring your toes and press very firmly. Slide a little bit. Find this place, the arc, the beginning of the arc, and press a bit more. This can be also very intense. If you feel like you need some more time at some parts, please Take your time and breathe through the exercise. Shift a bit more. And on the heel. And a few diagonal movements here. And let go. Other foot. So let's start with just sliding with the ball from the toes to the heel. Notice how this side feels. If you have a possibility in your life to go out barefoot to the grass, especially to the garden on the earth, to walk on the earth with your bare soils of the food that's really really great for your whole systems even for your nervous system and let's start the circles from the heel on the inner side to the toes and on the outside back to the heel and a few more times trying to keep 
the ball under the foot. And let's change direction. Make sure that your standing leg, so the foot joint, the knee, the hip joint are also active right now. So we are not just standing here loosely, but we are actively working on stabilizing the joints as well as on their mobility. And one more time. And now bring it under your toes and press very firmly. Shift to the beginning of your foot arc and press again. And again, a bit more. And near the heel. And diagonally. And let go of your ball. Deep inhale. Ah, relaxed exhale. See how your feet are feeling right now. See how you are feeling right now after this time that you spend concentrating on your feet. Tell me how it was for you. Was it intense? Usually the myofascial, uh. <laughs> usually the myofascial release can be pretty intense uh, for the parts of the body that store some emotions, some uh, sensations, some tensions. So don't hesitate to write and be healthy. Remember to take a break. Remember to take a deep breath in and deep breath out and enjoy your life. Namaste. Goodbye.